wanted to talk about why chest supported rows are all the rave when it comes to training these days. It seems like every single bodybuilding and powerlifting program is incorporating some form of chest supported row, right? Like CO row, rowing on an incline bench with dumbbells, um, chest supported row machine if you have access to one, or incline bench with cambered bar like what I'm doing. It seems like every program has one of those in it these days and you might be asking why and the answer is pretty simple. Chest supported rows are the only row variation that removes the spinal erectors from the movement completely. And that's a great thing because a lot of us that deadlift, squat, um, bench press with, with an arch in our lower backs and perform other posterior chain dominant movements like RDLs, gluten ham raises, good mornings, etc. Um, have the ability to do a row variation and focus on our upper back while removing the spinal erectors. And in a good program, especially like with myself coming off the 20 rep squats, you know, I dealt with some lower back fatigue. And it seems like every, every good program you kind of have to kind of battle that out like spinal erector you know, fatigue management, so to speak. And this is a good way to remove the spinal erectors and just focus on the upper back. Um, not to say that you shouldn't work your spinal erectors, but that's why these chest supported rows are all the, all the rave, because they enable you to do that. And I'm doing sets of 15 here today. I'm going to do one. So, whatever variation of these that you guys do, I don't really think it matters, but I think it can be a good, like an excellent variation, because come to think of it, even when you do like seated cable rows, your spiral rectors are still vaulted. They've still got to stabilize and brace to even stay, you know, upright, even while seated. So, this is a good way to remove the spinal erectors and uh, focus on the upper back. So that's why these are all the rave, all the craze. You're seeing some sort of chest supported row in every program, and that's why. Focus on the upper back, remove the erectors. And it can be quite useful because, you know, somebody can get more volume in on their upper back without having to fatigue their spinal erectors. So that's why. Like I said, I highly recommend throwing these in here and there. Um, I still think you need to hammer the hell out of your posterior chain, especially if you have lower body goals. But when you want to really blast your upper back while well, giving your chain a bit of a break, throw a chest supported row on it. So.